Hey there, Ospreys. Welcome to Mallory's Madness. I'm Mallory Aldrich for United Quarter of Sports Madness. First up, the Tampa Bay Rays put the finishing touches on plans for a new 30,000-seat ballpark in St. Petersburg Tuesday as part of a $6.5 billion development project that includes affordable housing, retail bars and restaurants, and a black history museum. The site is on the same 86-acre tract of downtown land where Tropicana Field now sits. In an interview, Ray's co-president Brian Alod said that Tropicana Field would be demolished once the new one is built in time for opening day 2028. Next, the NFL has filed a grievance against the NFL Players Association alleging that union leaders have advised running backs to consider feigning or exaggerating injuries to help increase their leverage in contract negotiations. In a memo sent to the league's Management Council Executive Committee, the NFL said the union made the suggestion to running backs during a Zoom meeting before the season and any player who took the union's advice and faked an injury would be violating the collective bargaining agreement. The NFL filed the grievance on September 11th and it will be reviewed by an arbitrator. Lastly, Iowa basketball star Caitlin Clark won the 93rd AAU James E. Sullivan Award Tuesday night as the nation's top collegiate or Olympic athlete. The award recognizes leadership, citizenship, character, and sportsmanship on and off the playing field. When asked about the award, Clark said, end quote, I am incredibly humbled. It is an honor to be selected for this prestigious award that elects the student athlete that excels on and off the court. Well, that's another edition of Mallory's Madness. Thanks for watching. I'm Mallory Eldridge, and I'll see you next quarter of Madness.